SP Excalibur, the Excel to SharePoint data integration tool, which brings Excel and SharePoint together to do wonderful things. SP Excalibur allows you to actually capture data and map the fields and bring them into SharePoint lists into specific areas as well as attachments of the original Excel document. It also allows you to pull data from SharePoint into an existing document. So let's say you had a in your CRM a prospect and you actually wanted to create a quote for that prospect. Now you can actually put the information into the CRM as the sales rep and automatically generate the quote into Excel. The core of the tool is a data mapper. This allows you to actually easily and intuitively go in and create mappings from an Excel spreadsheet to one or more SharePoint lists. This allows you to be very specific about what data gets updated between the two platforms. So let's take a closer look at the features. First of all, it comes with the easy to use intuitive mapper tool and it comes as an Excel add-on to map the fields as well as a runtime for end users to be able to use it attached to the document. It also supports MS Office 2010, 2013 and all versions of SharePoint 2013 on-premise or SharePoint Online. It also allows you to bring in lookups into Excel cells so you can actually have a cell be a drop-down to a SharePoint list or choice field. You can capture and pull data from not just one list but to many lists or many different items. You can even use it for data integration or for instance updating uh, data between back office system and SharePoint as well. So some of the example uses might be expense reports, timesheets, sales quotes, proposals, uh, different types of reports like a project report to a client from SharePoint data out to an Excel report and chart type of spreadsheet. Let's take a look at a demonstration. In our first example, we have an expense report template. This is just an Excel uh, template document that we happen to use in our company for expense reports. Now what I want to do is I want to have it so that when an employee fills out this expense report, they can hit a button up in the ribbon and submit the data into a SharePoint list that we've already created. Here's the SharePoint list we've already created. This happens to be part of our employee self-service module from SP Marketplace. And as you can see, we have a number of fields. We actually want to capture information about the user, the department, the start date, the purpose. Um, and also we want to kick off some workflows as well. Let's take a look at more detail on this data. On the expenses list, we can see that there are a number of fields that we want to get information for and also we want to get some detail information on the different categories of expenses from the expense report but we don't want every cell from it and we can do that because we actually are attaching the expense report to the list item so that uh, a manager for approval or whatever could get detail and it even allows them to attach uh, external documents like airline receipt as part of the process Also, when the information comes in from SPX Caliber, it will kick off different workflows in SharePoint to actually start an approval process. So let's see how we actually set this up. Now, if you are the form developer or what we call the mapper, uh, you can actually use the mapper tool to do things like set up your links to the SharePoint, one or more SharePoint sites you can identify what lists you want to interact with and then you actually can define and submit the mappings. So for instance here if I take a look at this we can actually see that we are mapping list field names to different cells within the worksheet. You can also choose if you want to be able to copy or attach a copy of the spreadsheet to the list item and you can actually have it prompt for additional attachments like receipts. So using these mapping tools is very easy to not only define what should be captured from a Excel spreadsheet into SharePoint, you can also do the same thing on the other 
side of it, and that's pull down data into an Excel spreadsheet from SharePoint in things like a quote. So for the end users, they'd actually have just a uh, submit to SharePoint selection up here, and then they could actually go in, fill in their expense report, and then submit form. This is the only thing they'd see. It's very simple. But I'm going to go ahead and just do it from here. It asked me, do I want to attach additional files to the SharePoint item? I say yes. I can actually go out and then select receipts that I want to attach. And I could attach more if I wanted. And I just say attach all. And then what we will see is that it actually updates SharePoint list directly. The user does not even have to be a SharePoint user. And here we see it was successfully written. So other things that it can do is kick off workflows. For instance, here is notifications that were kicked off um, by me submitting this from Excel. And we also see that it now appears in the SharePoint list and has also kicked off some other workflows for approvals. If we take a look at the item itself, we can see that it's populated the fields as well as attach the original spreadsheet as well as receipts right to it. So this is an example of how you can use Excel as a way to capture information into SharePoint. And the nice thing is you may even have Excel spreadsheets that people are already using that you can then, without them hardly knowing, except for changing their process to just hitting submit, that now you can bring the data into SharePoint and automate workflows in the back end. Our second example we'll use is a salesman actually generating a quote from a CRM. This happens to be our CRM module from SP Marketplace Business Suite. So let me be a salesman. I'll go to Prospects, and we'll open up this Prospect Bacon Information Systems. Now we see the SharePoint list item, and one of the tabs that we have is Quotes. This is actually in the SharePoint list item. We have a set of fields for quotes, and here the salesman can actually go in and put in the line items of the quote at any time. When he or she are ready to actually process the quote, all they have to do is go in, select Bacon Information Systems as a query, and instead of hitting the submit, we'll hit the run current drawdown. And now we get the message that it's drawn down information from that item in the prospect list. And now we can see that it's populated the quote, all items even pulling in terms and conditions from a another text file within SharePoint, and it's done all the calculations that are needed. So hopefully this has given you an idea of the power of SPX Caliber and how it can bring together Excel and SharePoint in ways that you've never seen before. Learn more about SPX Caliber at SP Marketplace. Also, you can download a 30-day free trial of the tool.